Hey, so, uh, something a little different now. Uh, this is post-commentary because I was kind of... I'd, like, just woken up when I started recording this video. And while editing this, I kind of realized, oh yeah, the commentary for this video kind of sucks. So, yeah. Here we are now. <laughs> Welcome to Ukulele Part 7, I think this is. My thing is named Yuka 7 right now, so that's probably the case. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be starting on World 2, but first things first, we're going to be doing some stuff in the Highbury Towers hub world before we get into all that. Uh, first things first, this is the archive, which uh, I came in here for like two reasons. One to show, like, this over here is the area where Trouser is at. Um, if you come into here after getting a pagey or so in the next world, Glitter Glaze Glacier. And also over here, um, I probably could have shown this off at the area Trouser would have been at, but, you know, there's cute little Easter eggs in the form of book names on the book piles, bookshelves, book whatevers. Uh, this one in particular is a reference to Conquer. There's a few other references, both to old rare games and also just to pop culture in general. I think I saw a Fifty Shades reference in there just now. But uh, yeah, this is the main reason I wanted to come in here, just to do this. And I'm somewhat happy I got it on my first try, just kind of doing it absent-mindedly. And yeah, unfortunately, the game still kind of stutters a bit, or like has audio stutters when I get a pagey. I don't know what's causing that, but it does indeed do that, and yeah, this is very classy. And, uh... I guess we could go a little further along where we're supposed to go, but before that... Just makes a little more sense to, I guess, show off this little area we can't do anything in yet. Well, I guess play some extra arcade games. There's three different arcade games you can play in here that aren't in any of the levels. You don't really get anything for doing them, they're just there if you want to play them. Uh, none of them are particularly fun, I don't think, but you can try them if you want. Uh, but there's Gundlet Run, Jobstickle Course, and something else called Blag the Flag. And, of course, anything that you've found in the levels you can replay here. I don't know why you'd go here to replay any of the arcade games when there's a thing on the menu that just lets you do from there. But, eh, I guess stylistic choices or whatever. But yeah, I do wonder if there was originally going to be more levels in the game and they just cut it down to five. Or maybe those arcade games were like... They were planning on having them be in some of the DLC levels they at least at one point were planning on making. I don't know if they're still going to be doing those. Because this game's been out for like three years and we haven't seen a bit of DLC. We've seen updates, but not any DLC and yeah, I don't know what happened there. But something, of course, did happen there. I mean, hell, we've gotten a whole second game and we haven't gotten any of the DLC. Which I guess is one of the few things that they didn't really, like, achieve from their Kickstarter promises. Which a lot of people do make this game out to be, like, a big Kickstarter disaster story, but really the only things that changed were the game isn't on Wii U, it was released on Switch instead, because who the fuck is going to buy a Wii U game in 2017? Um, there is no orchestral soundtrack, it turns out there was some kind of complications that meant they couldn't do that, just at all. And, as I said earlier, uh, there was no DLC. I'm pretty sure there was DLC like, planned during the Kickstarter phase, and they said they were going to do it, but then they didn't. And it's whatever. The game's like... My first playthrough of this game took me like 32 hours. Um, 
my most recent one, after, like, being super familiar with the game, took me, like, 10. This one's probably gonna take me about 10 to 11 as well. Who knows? But yeah, this over here is basically just me flexing, because... Again, as I said, a big part of why I like this game so much is just that you can do things in ways that don't feel intentional. And even though this is, like, way overcomplicating a very simple obstacle, it's still just really fun to do it this way for me. And also, there's not really much point to taking the shortcut this way. Because, uh... Yeah, it just leads back to Tribal Stack. By the way, I added out all the loading screens for this video, and, um... In total, there was about a minute of loading. We just, like, went through this loading screen, uh, went through it again to get back to where we were. And... Then we went through the loading screen for the second level, which is, like, 40 fucking seconds long. Like... That's incredibly long. Yeah. Times like these kind of make me wish I had an SSD in my computer, but, uh, I don't. I could probably get one at some point once I start having money, but it's not gonna be for a while, I don't think. Oh yeah, over here is a kind of really just a super easy pagey to get. There's a lot of these like filler pages in the overworld that aren't super tricky to get. I guess just because they want you to have stuff to do. Yeah, um, not too long now, and we'll finally be actually getting into World 2. After about spending half the video just kind of dicking around outside of it. Alright, so... Glaze Glacier. It takes about eight in total to get the whole world. Just three if you want the pre-expansion version, but honestly, you might as well expand all these levels as soon as you get to them. If you're not just, like, blitzing through the game at light speed, you're gonna have enough to get to all four worlds. Don't worry. You're, you're gonna have enough to get through, like, all five worlds. It's fine. So yeah, uh, if I can... Oh yeah, I didn't expand it just yet. I'm, I'm getting like, really, like... I don't know. My brain's still a bit frazzled, I guess. Okay, now for real though, let's get on back into Glare Glaze Glacier, once and for all. Yeah, you can tell I'm not as comfortable doing post-commentary as I would be with live commentary, at least on videos like this where it was originally supposed to be live, but then I, you know. And yeah, the, the points were the level expands are kind of more obvious in this one just because they're specifically gated off as opposed to just not being in the world i wonder if it's possible to get like glitch through those and enter the 
icy metric powers without uh, doing things properly. Maybe I should look up some speedruns of this game at some point. That would be probably be good for helping me find stuff to say. It's like, I do know a decent amount about this game. I know some of the tricks I've used for a lot of my just normal playthroughs. And also this damage boost that I like to use even though I never, like, have a reason to use it because I never go through this way first. For obvious reasons, uh, Trouser isn't down his path, and I want to get Trouser before I do much of anything in the level. But yeah, um, Glitterglaze Glacier, a lot of people, when they get to this, don't really like it a whole lot. Uh, mainly just because it's big as hell and kind of overwhelming for a first-time playthrough. For me... I don't know, it was kind of the same way at first, but I don't think I dislike this level. I think it's alright. It's not my favorite level in the game, but, you know, it's fun. But yeah, Trouser only has two moves this time under 40 quills as opposed to 30. So Slurp State is kind of interesting, probably the trickier one to explain, but that's not really saying much. Three different modern game genres, what the fuck are you talking about? Hmm. But yeah, basically uh, what Slurp State does, and this is just me uh, sticking on this joke for a while. Uh, basically what Slurp State does is you grab onto something, kind of in the same way you would with Slurp Shot. And for certain things that you grab onto, or grab with your tongue, it changes Yuka's resistances. Sometimes it has different effects, but basically it just changes stuff to do with Yuka's resistance, in a sense. It's kind of interesting. Uh, Lizard Leap is basically just the high jump. That's about it. So, now Trouser is done and over with, and yeah, you'll pretty much have enough quills to get all of his moves right away from this point onward. But yeah, there's a lot of different ways we can go from here. Um, I mean, there is in pretty much every level, because, you know, open area design. But we're going down this way first, just because... I don't know, this is just the way I always prefer to go down first. I guess because it kind of immediately shows off the, um, the slurp state, although I forgot to grab the thing before going down here. Don't ask why I paused here, I don't remember and I don't care to check the commentary again to double check. But yeah, this is just a quick little way to go if you want to get a... First Ghost Rider. I forget, are there any levels in this game where we don't get that Ghost Rider first, usually? I mean, I guess you could get them all in any order, but... As far as, like, the route most people, I feel like, would take, at least if they're familiar with the game. But yeah, um, this area here is a bit more of an interesting use of the slurp state, I guess. If you don't have the fire slurp state activated, you will take damage during this entire area. And of course, those little unlit things, once you step on them while in the fire slurp state mode, uh, you will light them up and be able to use them as another point to slurp from. This over here is one of the ghost riders. Um, 
This is actually the last one we got in Tribal Stack, and it's gonna be the... Almost the first one we get in this one. Wow. So yeah, um, I guess something I should mention, I'm like, using the roll move on all of these like slippery surfaces. You don't need to do that, that's just me being dumb. Don't worry. In fact, it's probably for the best that you don't do it, because, you know, doesn't give you as good control over uh, Yuka's movements. That's kind of the trade-off of using it. So yeah, this time I just go through without even using it at all, because, again, you don't need it. Probably could cut this part out, actually, but, eh. It's less than, like, 30 seconds, I think. It's whatever. But yeah, the main reason you want to go through here with the slurp state active is just so you can heat up the room, and the main reason for that is at the end of this room, there's a block of ice uh, blocking the way forward, which has a PG in it. And is that the first page we got this video? Or not the city of this level. I think so. Actually, I don't- I think I only got two pages in this level in the city, but to be fair, only half of the video is dedicated to this level, so... Whatever. Whatever. And I want to say that makes like four pages in total, plus the two Ghost Riders I got- actually three Ghost Riders, because I found a third one in the city. Yeah, hey, look who it is, it's Clara. I think she shows up like three times total in this game. I know she doesn't show up in World 4, she might show up in World 5. I don't remember for certain. Who knows. But yeah, this is a fairly mundane objective here, literally just like break the igloos. Not how much it really shows off the use for the, what's it called, the uh, lizard leap, I think it was. Whatever the ground pound is called in this game. Uh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing some more interesting uses of it later. So, just be patient, I guess. I also think the hitboxes on the igloo pieces are interesting because the transparent, like, bits of nothing in the middle are still counted as platforms. I think that's neat. Holy shit, we've got a lot of these fucking things! Yeah, I think I said something sooner or later in here about, like, how we'd already gotten over 20 minutes, and then when I was editing this, it turned out I said that at, like, exactly the 19 minute mark. Because <laughs> I didn't realize just how long the loading screen was. Like, I knew it was long, but I didn't realize how long it was. But yeah, hey, now we're technically doing one of these without even crossing a 20-minute mark, although the end slate will push it over. And yeah, that's another Ghost Rider. I didn't... I didn't expect myself to get it that easily, but... Hey, I'm not complaining. But yeah, that's about all we did on this video. Uh, I guess next time, assuming it goes better this time, we'll be taking on a little bit more of the uh, Glitter Glaze Glacier. Maybe even seeing Kartos again, who knows? Who knows indeed. But until then, see ya!